All right, let's try it. Launching. You got my video as I was taking off. You gotta get hundreds of flights to become a professional at this. I'm gonna go around these cables, which is the cable car, and then get around to Ooh, Dennis. Corey Mays told me to be careful about the cables around here, especially that cable car, because they also have the electric wires there. And there was no wind, so I had to do a forward launch to get my paraglider up. And there's the cable car that I took. Right down there. I guess if you do this enough times, you'll get used to it. I should do more turns and stuff. Yeah, they're recommending I do some SIV courses so I can become more comfortable with my paraglider. I'm glad I came up early. It's only 10.08 right now. Yeah, this is pretty nice. I love the location. I love the convenience of getting up to the top as well. It's basically a perfect world over here. Let's do some turns. And look at these guys, they come straight out here. I guess they do acro. Yeah, I might go twice. I got kind of car sick in that van going around all those turns so many times. What am I at now? 3,700 feet over the city. I love those pools. There's already paragliders landing. This is so nice down there, man. I love it. I guess if you do this 100 times, you won't be as nerve correct as I am right now. Yeah, so I'm at 3,100. I see someone doing acro. Oh, there's a tandem guy. I don't want to be around him. But actually, this is the area that they like to fly over because you're right over the village. Yeah, I should get a camper van. That'd be nice and comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna relax. This is the speed bar. People paraglide here all day long. I guess after filming this three or four times, I might get over the initial excitement. There's a paraglider tandem. What are we at now? 2400. Kind of like going forward in my paraglider so I can see what's down there. This area is just picture perfect. For example, right there are those boats. I should screenshot this. Oh, that guy's doing helis. Okay, I'm gonna go away from him. Yeah, paragliding is so beautiful for the eyes, especially all these colors. They say Ulu Dennis means the Dead Sea because it's super salty in here. Maybe that's what all that white is, all the salt. I brought my swim shorts with me and my paraglider so I can go swimming after this. I definitely have to try swimming down here. It's my third day and I haven't gone yet. 1,000 feet over the city. I should start getting ready for my landing. It'd be cool if you could land in your hotel in that square piece of ground. I kind of like just viewing the hotel interiors from above. I'm thinking about landing on those grassy spots near the seaside. I like these boats, they kind of remind me of pirate ships. Look at all those tourists. I might even consider going on a tour, a pirate boat tour. Yeah, look at that. This whole place is amazing. Can't believe you guys. They're so professional. Unbelievable. The landing is kind of the stressful part for me. Now, what am I at? 300 feet. That's what I'm usually used to, actually. I'm gonna set up for my landing now. I right, can hear the music now. Man, I'm so impressed with these guys. They can land so easily. I'm clear of all traffic. I'm gonna fly right over the city.
hang out. All right, I think I'm good. I just don't want to make no mistakes. Oh, this is how you do it. Okay, that was a spot landing right there. Okay. Oh, get this down. Okay, that was a perfect landing right there. Perfect landing. Can't complain.